All right, Shalom, Kol Haloyim, Ba Yehoah, Ba Shem Yahushai, Ba Shem Rakakwadash, double honor to the head elders who are the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. And Shalom to Yuakim out there in sincerity and truth. You know, enduring afflictions, you know, for uh, the kingdom of heaven, you know, the uh, the righteous will of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. You know, that uh, we can be delivered from the pending and coming judgment of Babylon the Great. Now, this Wisdom of Solomon 12 chapter is dealing with heathens. So, I want to put that disclaimer first. You know, but uh, there's, a, there's one particular scripture that I wanted to talk about. And I want to relate it to this time, you know the spirit you know so just get the understanding when you read the uh from the first verse on down to the ninth verse is dealing with uh you know the canaanites of uh that were in the land before israel got up in there okay the israelites got up in the land but then obviously what happened to the Israelites <laughs> that was in the land, right? You know, they started doing the same things that got the heathen kicked out in the first place. So now here we are in a land, a strange land that is prophetically Babylon the Great, you know, in the Western Hemisphere, all right? We've been um, discontinued from our heritage. Our people have been continuously robbed, raped, and murdered, you know. And now look at the results of our people not repenting, right? So that's pretty much the sentiment I want to convey. Now, Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 10, like I said, when you read from the first verse all the way down to the ninth verse, because I'm going to read the 10th verse, is dealing with heathens. Okay, so the 10th verse is also dealing with, uh, you know, the heathens. Okay, so... Like I said, what I want to do, Lord willing, it'll, it'll make sense. I want to relate it to this time because, hey, the words of the Most High are manifold in, uh, in, in, under, in wisdom. All right. Matter of fact, I guess I'll start with that one. All right. It's just a heavy, it's just a scripture I've been meditating on. You know, after I uh, listened to it on the audio version, audio Bible, you know, so you know, it's, a, it's a good scripture. But uh, before I get it, let me, um, Wisdom of Solomon 722, for wisdom, which is the worker of all things taught me, for in her is an understanding, spirit holy, one only, manifold, subtle, lively, clear, undefiled, plain, not subject to hurt, loving the thing that is good, quick, which cannot be let it, ready to do good, right? So let's look up the term manifold, right? Manifold. This is the etymology of manifold of many kinds, numerous in kind of variety, diverse, Exhibiting or embracing many points, okay? Features or characteristics, all right? Manifold, okay? Various, varied in opinion, or excuse me, appearance. Complicated, many times magnified, numerous, abundant. Okay, so you get the point, right? Okay, so that's kind of what I want to go with this scripture. You know, I know it's dealing with heathens. And I'm not trying to butcher the scripture and try to make it sound or relate to something that is not talking about. So I, you know, hopefully I cleared that up. 
but um, verse 10 says, Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 10, but executing thy judgments upon them little by little, little and little, thou gavest them place of repentance. Right now, we understand the gospel, and the gospel is, is dealing with who? Israelites, okay? You see? The gospel of Yahweh Shai deals with Israelites. All right, that's who repentance is open for. It's not open for heathens. All right, because time and time again, the heathens, first of all, the Most High only was dealing with a particular lineage and bloodline, all right, out of the uh, Shemites, first and foremost, and the rest of the other nations that came, the, the Lord said it in Isaiah 40 and 15. He likened them unto a drop of water. Uh, uh, wow, I'm butchering it. He regarded the other nations as nothing. Okay. Isaiah forty seventeen. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. Okay. So when the scripture says, by executing thy judgments upon them by little and little, thou gavest them place of repentance. Okay. We can relate this to Israel because that's who repentance is for. That's who repentance is uh, granted. All right. You can read uh, Ezekiel, the 18th chapter as well for that one. When the scriptures say when a wicked man turneth from his wickedness and he does the right thing. Well, that's what repentance is. And it's dealing with Israelites. All right. The prophets were sent unto the Israelites. At every Every time, every uh, time period, every point in history, you, you read and you find out that all the prophets, they dealt, they came through the lineage of Israel and they dealt with only the Israelites. Okay. So by, exec by executing thy judgments upon them little and little, thou gavest them place of repentance. And not being ignorant that they were a naughty generation. Right? And not being ignorant that they were a naughty generation. Okay? Here it is. Let's get Proverbs. It says, not being ignorant that they were a naughty generation. Man. I believe it's the last. No? Let's see here. All right. Proverbs 30, see, and 11. On down to 14. There is a generation that curseth their father and doth not bless their mother. Does not that sound like this generation that we're in right now? There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. Does that not sound like this generation that we're in right now? There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes and their eyelids are lifted up. All right. Matter of fact, listen to something real quick, because that's the spirit. I'm, I'm watching a video as we speak just to give you an, an example on this. I leave here. I leave here. Okay, okay. Chad. I don't want no one. Okay, if you're saying it's a lie, I'm having sex with you versus men committing to our two different things. You want to see me naked? Man, and they weigh 200 pounds. You're five foot three and 180. That's crazy. 
That's why. And yes, but I was going to get that new bikini up anyway. Yes, but I was going to get that new bikini up anyway. Yes, but I was going to get that new bikini up anyway. Oh, she see, she has a fat ass, so a lot of the weight is on her ass. So because who was rating me a two? Specifically, it. men who are broke, men who can't afford a woman like me, a high standard, high value woman like me. So they really don't have an opinion on this matter. I'm a 10 out of 10 because I am. This person says the market gives you your value, not yourself. Okay, so who is the market though? Because if you're talking Man. about the busted broke boys in my comments, they wouldn't even get a chance with me. So their vote doesn't count because I don't want them. <laughs> like, why would I care what they would stick your men? No market crash. That I date, that have taken me out of dates, that have treated me like a queen, a princess. They're going to rate me a 10 out of 10. And that's why they're taking me out, spending money on me, and taking good care of your girl. Because they have a voice. They have an opinion on this. They have a vote. Someone who couldn't even afford a McDonald's date, even though I wouldn't go on a McDonald's date, why would you have a vote? I have McDonald's date, even though I wouldn't go on a McDonald's date. Why would you have a vote? I have you look like a bag of Mickey D's. One look at me. And beg to take me on a first date. Make sure that they can't be bag your ass in airplanes 2023. This is what this model said when she struggled to walk on the airplane ride because they were too narrow. All right, so I hope you got the point, you see? And that's pretty much what it is, man. This is the type of fuckery we got to deal with. There is a generation whose teeth are as swords and their jaw teeth as knives to devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among men. Okay, so, I mean, wow. It's pretty plain, right? It's pretty plain, especially after what you heard. You were heard you're hearing so-called women, which they're not women, and these females justifying, you know, their, uh, you know, their, uh, themselves as if they're just the most perfect thing in the world. And how dare you even try to uh, so-called uh, tell them about themselves when they're clearly delusional. All right. They think too highly of themselves when they're trash. And, you know, we got this whole thing going on with this, you know, this, this rainbowism, I'll say this rainbowism bull crap which is nothing but Sodom and Gomorrah on steroids, man. That's being damn uh, justified, you know, that's being pushed as something that's, you know, uh, acceptable when it's totally unacceptable. It's totally wicked. It's filthy, it's disgusting, you know. Here we go, you know. What were they doing in the land? The same things that we're talking about, man. All right. In the land of Israel, in the ancient world, and now, man, it, how much worse is it now? Being that all of these things has happened unto you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. And now you're just in complete, utter darkness, and you don't consider your ways. How much more now? You know, you just heard just a fraction, not even a fraction, a tidbit of the kind of mentality these these so-called females, these so-called women have, all right, in this generation. It, does, does the scripture not say a right? Not being ignorant that they were a naughty generation? Clearly. And that their malice was bred in them. You heard him. And what is that? What is malice? See? What is malice, man? Malice, desire to hurt another. Propensity to inflict injury or suffering. Active ill will. Ill will. Spite. Sinfulness. Wickedness. From Latin, malatia, badness. Ill will. Spite, man. From malice. Bad. Unpleasant. You see that? In legal use, a design or intention of doing mischief to another without justification or excuse. Wow. I mean, come on now, man. Come on, man. So you mean to tell me your how about Shamil Shah is not going to deal with you wicked ass niggas out here? Especially you 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 that know that you're Israelites. All right. 
and that their cogitation would never be changed and that their cogitation would never be changed. What is cogitation? Cogitation. Thought, idea, notion, though that which is thought out, act of thinking, earnest reflection. Okay? Thought, consideration, reflection. To think, reflect, consider, to turn over in the mind. These people can't even reason properly, man. They can't even reason properly. Obviously, as you just heard a very little tidbit, man. Okay, so... By, but executing thy judgments upon them by little and little, thou gavest them place of repentance, not being ignorant that they were a naughty generation and that their malice was bred in them and that their cogitation would never be changed. So what's about to happen, man? What is going to happen? What is in the what we where are we in the process? All right. Of prophecy, man. Judgments about to take place, man. Let's read on. For it was a cursed seed from the beginning. Neither didst thou fear for fear of any man give them pardon for those things wherein they sinned. Okay. You see? For who shall say? Let me see. Who shall say, What hast thou done? Or who shall withstand thy judgment? Or who shall accuse thee for the nations that perish whom thou made? Or who shall come to stand against thee to be revenged for the unrighteous men? Okay. For neither is there any power but thou that care for all to whom thou mightest show that thy judgment is not unright. You see? So when Yahweh Shem El Shai brings down the hammer... It's going to be what? Righteous indignation. It's going to be righteous anger. It's going to be justified anger, man. All right. So, yeah, man, I just wanted to speak on that. Lord willing. All right. The, uh, the point is made clear and, you know, you are edified. So all praises to you. How about Shem Yahushai? Shalom.